Hey, how everyone doing? I'm Pascal and you are watching The Art Show. For more in-depth video, like always, you can go on patreon.com slash theartistpascal. I'll leave the link in the description. It's optional if you want to, especially if you're an artist, you might like it. You might want to see how I really create this painting instead of tell you all about a tragic incident that happened. I'm just joking. But recently, a um, couple of my friends, we uh, went to go play soccer. We, we want to go play soccer. It was really fun, man. And we was wrecking them boys. I had a really good time. Uh, we laughed a lot, made some jokes. So on our way back, we decided it was probably like, uh, it was it was at like 11 at night. We decided we should go to the spot, the Jamaican spot, the favorite spot to get some food to eat. So we actually said, okay, that's a good idea. We went up there. Why in the Jamaican spot? First time being in the spot, cause we, we have our spot, but lately they've been closed. We don't know why. They'll be clo closing early. No one knows, but in this new spot, they actually have a comedy show going on. And these folks, I'm telling you, they are the worst comedian ever. They're making gay jokes and it's the 21st century. Come on, that ain't even cool no more. Uh, so, I soon we walked thing because we're African. They realize we're African. They start throwing shots. I'm talking about uh, Donald Trump going to say, y'all folk, uh, y'all kids still got dreams and y'all don't know how hard it is. They start giving a life lesson. Yo, you trying to make a laugh or you trying to freaking bored or to death so i was like you know what i can do better comedy than them and my boy uh next to he said are oh, you sure you want to do this i like yeah he said why not i mean we just having fun i like okay so they told the uh the announcer i'm i'm a comedian upcoming comedian i'm not a comedian i'm an artist uh so they told the uh the announcer i'm a comedian so she was like, okay, you been, you a comedian? I was like, no, but I can make comedy. She like, oh, you're not a comedian, but you can make comedy. Let's start making fun of that too. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to come out there. I will do comedy. They're like, okay. So I was on the list to go up probably after the third or fourth first. Everyone came and my time to get on the stage. These folks talking about, all right, this is first time. So y'all pay attention to him. Like, what, what is going to do to put all the pressure on me, yo? I'm like, I back, back up, man, back up. So I hit them with the Rico. Uh, I got this joke. I usually tell. I don't usually tell it. But it's about the Bible. It's about how Christian treat Joseph in the Bible. Joseph is one of the most faithful men ever lived on earth. Like, I haven't seen a guy, a gentleman that much faithful to a girl. Joseph decided to marry this girl. While they was engaged, he decided they wasn't gonna have sex till they get married. And she agreed with that. It's the Virgin Mary. Everyone know about the Virgin Mary. She's like the coolest girl in the Bible. She's the most recognized girl in the Bible. So, uh, while they was married uh, on the time for the wedding, Mary said, Hey, uh, Joseph, I'm pregnant. And Joseph was like, what? Like, Come on, you pregnant? We didn't have sex. She like, I know, I know, but it's about the Holy Ghost. Is that your excuse, Mary? Like, come on, is that your excuse? You got pregnant by the Holy Ghost? Man, things hard to believe, man. So what she did is she went ahead and told God about it. She told God that, oh, Joseph is acting up, and I think you need to talk to him, man. Come on. So God come up to Joseph like, son. Hey, son. Yeah, 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 God. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm listening. Uh, you know the recent incident about your, your, your wife. Uh, I sent some injuries, and she have to carry this baby. Uh, that gonna save the world. God, like, come on, God. I thought we were cool. Why didn't you let me do it, man? Me and this girl been together for like how long, man? Come on, twenty years, no sex, man. I'm getting old, boy. God, like, I understand, I understand. God, you don't understand, man. You haven't done that kind of stuff, man. And I, I, I think I think that, that's a betrayal, God. I mean, think about it, yo. Come on. You have a girl and y'all been down back from high school to college. You decided y'all ain't even going to have sex till y'all actually get your career going on. And time for your wedding. Girl tell you she pregnant. <laughs> and tell you, uh, hey, Joe. 
I got pregnant by the Holy Ghost. What would you do? <laughs> it's it's not her excuse. Like, what would you do? Like, come on, think about it. What would you do? I don't know if the joke got to be funny, but what would you do? Your girl got pregnant by the Holy Ghost. And she told you, honey, I got pregnant by the Holy Ghost. That was my joke I actually told. And I got a couple laugh. Uh, I might get a couple comments. But let me know what would you do. But after the joke, we got in the car. Drove up. After eating some good Jamaican food, I came home and I'm like, I'm just thinking about this situation. I'm like, wow, I really did that. But at this point of the painting, I should say, me, for those of you artists, uh, what I'm doing is I'm messing up. I'm actually putting iron on them. Like, I realized this painting took place in the desert and nothing in the desert is going to be metallic and it's going to show because of the dust. So, as a young artist, when you paint it, you got to pay, excuse me, you got to pay attention to all that, like, the dirt, uh, what's going to happen to the clothes, how old is this building, or how old is this person, what they have on them. If you this age, what would you have? Just to keep your painting more interesting, more realistic. And when I did some research, I look up some desert images and to make sure I wasn't late enough, of course, because I haven't been in the desert before. This is just imagination work at his best, at my best. Uh, so right now I'm just laying on uh, gradient map to actually create that desert look. And I find the perfect gradient map that I'm looking for and actually pop out exactly what I was doing. And for this painting, I know a lot of you realize, uh, how did I come up with this idea? It wasn't a dream. I know I didn't start the story. It wasn't a dream. I was walking into this temple. And I saw this writing on the building that I remember the writing. And time for me to actually explore the palace, uh, my mom wake me up. Like, and it really aches me. So I actually wrote the, uh, whatever word that was on the building, I put it on this building. I don't even know what it means. Like, I look it up on Google. I don't know. It's like, oh, back C equals slash slash. I don't know what it means, but... It means something. Probably it means something. I don't know. It should mean something. But like for this painting, like the composition, planning it out, I use the root of thirds. I might cover the root of thirds. They already have video on YouTube to actually position your painting to keep the focus on what you want to keep the focus on. So the focus for this painting, I really wanted it to be on the writing. And the doing the background, the doing the red coming to us. Like, so I use the root of thirds to um, position that. So right now you see I changed the color of the helmet because it was silver. I had to make it match like a desert environment color because it's the desert. You want to have a silver silver in the desert if you actually live in this temple. That means you've been here for a couple, a long time and everything should be dirty on you. shouldn't even be clean. But see, now I have this uh, challenge. I like challenge myself usually. Like every day, I decide to actually go on figure drawing live and do like uh, at least ten figure drawing poses. If even if it's like uh, ten minutes long, and one minute each. If it's gesture, that's that's how I actually build my anatomy. Every day, I'm not a college student. I'm graduating high school this Saturday. Like I said in the last, in the part one of this video. And, but I must keep doing art for YouTube and for myself because I love it. I love it. I love it. And if you stay here, stay watching this video, you probably love it too. And don't think, please remember, please remember to leave a comment about what would you do if your girlfriend told you she was pregnant. <laughs> um, she was pregnant by the Holy Ghost. What would you do? And you've been together for that long. Guys, girls, if your boyfriend even, uh, it won't work that way. Never mind. Never mind. It won't work that way. But that's some tough stuff. You know, that painting actually took a huge curve. I didn't even realize where it was going. It took the kind of curve like you thought the Falcon was going to win the Super Bowl kind of curve. And it didn't happen. Like, man, I thought it was going to win too. Everyone was hyped that day. Like, of 
fight about to win the Super Bowl. We got we about we about, we about to uh, freaking cap this Super Bowl. We gonna bring that home, man. If those gonna bring that home, it was gonna be a really late day. Like, ooh, I'm telling you, the city, the city was already hot during the game. Think about if those gonna win. You know how Atlanta is, man. But like, uh, like you see me, I'm adding like dust on his clothing. It just to uh, make it more seems realistic like this actually is happening in real life you go in the desert you're gonna have dust on your clothes your blue not really gonna be blue it'll be brown this with blue because it's dirty i try to make it as much um realistic as possible but i use it much detail because this is a dream area it's not an area set in stone like you can go to it's a dream lane where king's um Pascal walk on the path to his kingdom and his mom wake him up. I'm Pascal and you are watching the art show. If you're here, please remember to go on patreon.com if you want to see the full video. I will see you in the next one. Ciao.